We are given a right triangle inscribed inside a semicircle. The hypotenuse is root 10 and the height is one unit. We are to find the area of the shaded portion. To find the area of the shaded portion in the semicircle, we have to first of all find the area of the right triangle and also find the area of a semicircle. Then we subtract the area of the semicircle from the area of the right triangle to have the area of the shaded portion. Now, let us level the diagram. Let us call this point A, here B, C, and D. And let the length of the right triangle be X. So, let us find the value of X using Pythagoras theorem. We state that the square of the hypotenuse equals to the sum of the square of the two other sides. So this will be the square root of 10 squared equals to x squared plus 1 squared. That will be 10 equals to x squared plus 1. x squared will be equals to 9. So when you take the square root of both sides, we have x equals to 3. So like db is 3. Next, let us find the area of this triangle BCD. Now the formula for finding area of a triangle is half base times height. Here, the base is 3 and the height is 1. So when we apply that in the formula, we have area of a triangle is half base times height, which is 1 over 2 times 3 times 1. So the area of this triangle will be 3 over 2. Next, we have to find the area of the semicircle. To find the area of this semicircle, we have to draw a full circle. And we will extend this line CD to NRE. Let us find out the length of AD and DE. Here, DC and DE are equal, and CD equals to 1. So DE will be equal to 1 unit. The diameter of the circle is AB. So DB equals to 3. The diameter of the circle is 2R, and AD will be equal to 2R minus 3. If we take note, we have two cuts intersecting each other, cut AB and cut CE. Here, we will apply cut cut power theorem, which states that if two cuts of a circle intersect at a point inside the circle, the product of the length of the two segments of one cut is equal to the product of the length of two segments of the other cut. According to the cut cut power theorem, AD times DB will be equal to CD times DE. So let's substitute. We have 3 bracket 2R minus 3 equals to 1 times 1. So let's open up that bracket. We have 6R minus 9 equals to 1. So 6R equals to 1 plus 9. So we have 6R equals to 10. We divide both sides by 6. So R will be equal to 10 over 6. We reduce it to its lowest term. R is 5 over 3. So we have found the radius of this circle. We are to find the area of the semicircle. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. Area of a semicircle will be half pi r squared. So let's substitute the radius we got into the area of the semicircle. We are going to have 1 over 2 times pi bracket 5 over 3 squared. So it, it will be equal to pi over 2 times 25 over 9. So area of the semicircle will be 25 pi over 18. So this is the area of this semicircle. Remember, we have to find the area of the shaded portion in the semicircle. So we found the area of the triangle first, and we also find the area of the semicircle. So now we have to subtract the area of the semicircle from the area of the triangle. So we we'll have 25 pi over 18 minus 3 over 2. Now when we find the LCM, we divide 18 by 18 is 1. 1 times 25 pi, we have 25 pi minus 27. So now let's change pi to 3.15. So we say 25 times 3.15 minus 27 over 18. So when we solve that, we have 2.86. So the area of the shaded portion is 2.86. If you have gained value in this lesson, kindly like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.